A stunning development in the Russia investigation today. Thousands of internet ads linked to Russia are now public. Advertising executives say these ads and fake news are reminiscent of old Russian propaganda, but they're causing division in our country today. Now tech ex executives from Google, Facebook and Twitter are being pressured to put a stop to it. Reporter Susie Steinle has our story. These are just some of the advertisements that populated our news feeds between 2015 and 2017. Some compared Hillary Clinton to Satan. Others encouraged Texans to secede. An ability. Lawmakers say they influenced the election, misinformed the public, and caused division in the United States of America. I don't think you get it. I think the fact that you're general counsels, you defend your company, that what we're talking about is a cataclysmic change. What we're talking about is the beginning of cyber warfare. Lawmakers took tech executives to task in Senate and House subcommittees again today. They're contemplating creating laws if Facebook, no, Google, and certain. Twitter can't get a handle no, on the problem. On You've them. created these platforms, and now they are being misused. Mm -hmm. And you have to be the ones to do something about it. Um, or we will. Facebook says more than 3,000 advertisements came from a Russian troll farm in St. Petersburg called the Internet Research Agency. 29 million people directly received Russian content, including fake protests and petitions. With sharing and resharing, it may have reached as many as 126 million people. We're hiring more ad reviewers, doubling or more our security engineering efforts, putting in place tighter ad content restrictions. But people did take it seriously and it meant something to them and it resonated with them. Anna Calibri owns a digital marketing firm that places ads with Facebook and Google. She says she wants to see more regulations put in place by Congress and more vetting by these tech companies. Um, we can't just scoop up money. We have to figure out, is this money going to hurt our country? You know, and it, it matters. Twitter has identified and shut down more than 2,700 accounts linked to this group. But when asked if they believe their companies understand the full scope of Russian activity on these social media platforms, each tech executive answered no. North Dakota U.S. Senator Heidi Heitkamp launched a new web page today to help those signing up or changing health insurance during, during open enrollment. The site was launched after federal funding for navigators who provide in-person assistance was cut drastically this year. In North Dakota, it was more than 90% in some instances. In a month and a half, they're going to have to make these decisions without the same kind of assistance that they've had in the past. And as a result, our office is stepping up, helping people navigate that system, helping them acquire health insurance. But more importantly, we're also trying to prevent this from happening in the future. This year's open enrollment period is also a month and a half shorter than in previous years. The Bison men's basketball team hit the hardwood tonight for a little exhibition against the Concordia Cobbers. We've got highlights later in sports. Up next, how to deal with some of the anxiety that can come with planning a family.